Fuck. It's Amy. Or Mouser. Probably most of you know me as Amy. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be putting something special on my car today, so I'm pretty excited about it. Hold on. Let me show you. All right, so I'm going to be putting this. I don't even know if you can see it because of the light. I'm putting that on my beautiful car. I'm not going to show my license plates. People don't stalk me. <laughs> Where do you want it? Um, I think I want it on that side. Oh, I showed John's license plate accidentally. Come and find me. Huh? I <laughs> said, so come and find me. Come find me. <laughs> There's Bellicans hanging out. What you get to do after you through hike the AT? Put a bumper sticker on your car. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, here it'd be like in your window. You don't win a medal or anything, but you you can buy yourself a bumper sticker. I don't know. What are you What are you saying? I don't know what we should put in. Hmm. All right, we're gonna talk about this then. We'll get back to you. All right, we decided the right corner. John is doing whatever he's supposed to be doing, following the directions, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. <coughs> and he's gonna put it on. Oh, I need something else. No, oh, he needs something else. All right, he got his second product. You go on this side. What are you using? Glass cleaner. Glass cleaner. <clears throat> it's a key. Right, so you want it right there? Yep. Like that or like that? Like that or like that? Like straight up and down. Which way? This way? This way? That way. This way? Yeah. Let's watch this. Make sure he doesn't mess it up. Oh, the pressure. Do you feel the pressure? Mm-mm. No? Wow. No, I do this at work all the time. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. There you go. How beautiful. Well, that's not done. The moment we've all been waiting for. Wow. Look at her. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Bella, do you like it? Bella doesn't even care. Alright, so I'm going to add to this uh, vlog by doing a review on my headlamp. Because I really liked it when I was on trail. Um, so I'm going to add to this video. So, stay tuned. This wasn't the whole video because that would be extremely lame. All right, folks, bringing you Amy live here once again off the trail. <laughs> I'm not live. Okay, all right, let's do this. All right, so like I said, I'm going to do a review on my headlamp. I started off uh, my through hike with a black diamond spot. Um, I really didn't like it because I felt like uh, the actual headlamp part of it was really clunky and big. Uh, I had to carry around extra batteries, which really sucked. Um, it was also really dim. Like, I just felt like the light was not bright enough. 
and it would actually dim fast, like the battery would go fast. Um, so I debated for a really long time about getting a new headlamp while on trail. I just didn't really want to spend the money on a new lamp. Um, but I finally did uh, somewhere around Tennessee, I think. So I ended up with the Nikkor NU25. Here it is, right here. And I really like this lamp because it is uh, pretty lightweight. Um, the actual lamp is 0.9 ounces, and then with the head strap, it is 1.9 ounces. Um, I liked it because it was really simple to use. There's only like two buttons. Well, there are really only two buttons, not like. <laughs> um, and you can recharge it uh, with a cord. So I would just recharge it using our, uh, my battery pack that I carried with me. So um, also I liked it because there were um, several different uh, modes for the light. Um, there's actually four, four light modes. There's a reading light and then uh, a red light, which if you go on uh, a through hike or even a section hike, even like a night, just one night, please have a headlamp with a red light. It's like essential. Um, but anyways, so I really like the lamp. Um, I'm really glad that John convinced me to get it. It was actually not that expensive. It's uh, $35 on Amazon, so it's not too bad, um, but it was just really hard for me to justify spending more money on the trail on gear. Um, but anyway, so I'm gonna show you a couple um, features of the headlamp. Um, I'm not like a real gear head type person, so I'm just giving you like the simple Amy version. <laughs> um, but yeah, so to lock the headlamp, you press both buttons and it lights up. It'll like give you a red light. Um, that means that it's locked. So when you put it in your, um, your backpack, there's no way that it's gonna turn on accidentally and run through the um, battery. So to unlock it, you would hold both buttons. Okay. It's unlocked. Huh? <laughs> there, it's on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't see the light. I'm sorry. So yeah, it's on. You get this light on it's your on, eyes. guys. Yeah, I can't <laughs> see. This, the light from the phone is pretty bright. Um, so it's on, and it's on the first mode. That's the first mode again. That's the second mode, third mode. And then if you hold it, it goes into turbo, which is super bright. Um, I only use turbo like, I don't know, maybe once or twice uh, when we were night hiking when it was like pitch black. Um, but it definitely really works. Um, another thing about this light, um, I did mention that it didn't, uh, like the, we didn't have to recharge it very much in town. Um, I felt like it lasted a whole lot, a whole lot longer than the black diamond spot. Yeah. We um, never had to charge it on trail. You mean? Yeah. I mean, when we went into town, we would recharge it, but it would recharge in like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, so, but and I probably use my headlamp for probably maybe two hours each night because I had to edit the videos. So, I mean, I always had my light on. Um, but yeah, I felt like this was a really good um, headlamp. And especially like towards the end when we would start uh, hiking really early in the morning. Um, I don't know, it was just a good light to have. Um, so anyways, so there are, uh, there's other functions, the red light function, that's the low, that's the high, and then I think there's like a blinking one, right? Yeah, if you push it three times. Yeah. And it'll so blink it white too. Yeah. Um, this will also blink uh, like the SOS mode. I can't remember how to do it. You just push and hold it for like a long time. Yeah, I think. Let's see. Yeah, keep That's it. the reading light. 
Oh, you messed that up. There you <laughs> oh, go. Oh, no, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we're all blinded. Yeah, sorry. Um, What else about this headlamp? The battery uh, indicator. It gives you a bite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, as you can tell, John should probably be doing the video. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's a battery indicator, uh, like if you, I think if you hold both these buttons. No, the red button. Oh, the red button. It'll give you a battery indicator. Sure. If it's low. Do that. Do that again. If it's low, it'll just blink once, which it's low right now. Uh, but if it's fully charged, it'll blink like three times, I believe. And then it goes down to one. Yeah. I may, have, I may have made that up. Well, no, like, it's right I mean, there. I've got notes here, but like, I'm not gonna read directly from the notes, you know? I'm just gonna tell you like how I use the headlamp on the trail yeah. and what functions I remembered. Um, obviously, I never really used the SOS mode, so I didn't no. really know how to get into that mode. Um, but it's cool that it's there. Uh, the red blinking light, I mean, I don't know why I've never used it, but who would? I don't know, why do you use it? Uh, so I didn't really know how to get in that mode, but now I do, and it's cool to know that it's there. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's a pretty basic headlamp. I really like it. Um, I think that if you're, especially for like a smaller person, I think that it's perfect because it's not huge. As you can tell, it's pretty thin. So it's not like this huge thing on top of your head. So it, it didn't make me feel like, you know, this headlamp just swinging around. <laughs> it just fit perfectly, sat on my head. So I really liked it. I'm glad I made the purchase and uh, I can't even find my black diamond spot to show you what it The battery is like. corroded in it. Is the it? last time I looked at it, yeah. It probably doesn't even work anymore. You probably threw it away. Maybe. But, oh I yeah. And in, then, I have one in my car. And then you can adjust it, you know, up or down, whatever. Um, I was notorious for always blinding people with my <laughs> headlamp because I, you know, didn't really think about what other people were seeing when they were looking at me, which was just a bright light. So I was blinding people all the time. But, uh, yeah. It's a good hand, headlamp. Uh, definitely look into it if you're interested. Okay, so that's it.